Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Valagar Alavain, back for some more Dungeons and Dragons Online. So, here we are in Evening Star, just on the northeastern section across the bridge. This is our Stormhorn's quest. This quest here is bestowed by Orin. Now, in order to get to these, you do want to have access to those Harper Waypoint Markers. Now, if you're not sure where they are, definitely check out my video where I detail on how to get to all three of them. Now, the one that we're heading here today is actually going to be our northern camp. It is the closest to our, basically the rest of these quests, as you see, is just right around the corner here. All right, so from here, we're almost going to head straight off to it. Now, this is one of probably the hardest ones, simply because it is a big fight. And it's waves of fights. So once you get to the quest, which is just around the corner here, in our camp, um, yeah, once you actually get in, you do want to buff up right away and summon a hireling. Now, I do recommend having a proper healer if it is an option. Um, if it's not, like in our case, uh, yeah, we're just going to go in and use some hirelings. Now, the location itself, as you see, kind of small. Uh, yes, I can share there. It's kind of small. It's just a little encampment here. And we have a bell in the center, a dinner bell. Now, as we ring the dinner bell, uh, everyone's going to come out. Now, they do come out in waves. So the first guys that are going to come out are going to be like the weakest enemies. They're going to kind of come out of the, the camp off there. The next one are going to be the orcs and Shardakai. They're going to kind of come out, or the orcs, they're going to come out of the far back. Then we got giants. And then we'll finally have our boss at the end. Now, while you are fighting, uh, as soon as you're finished the wave, you have the option to ring the bell again, basically to proceed without resting. Um, after each wave, it will also spawn in our shrines. That way you can resurrect and rest if you need. But again, if you take the time to rest, you may not have the time to ring the dinner bell. Now, I also want to point out before we get started, if after the wave, if you are standing exactly where the rest shrine is going to spawn, which is kind of by that pillar there, and you go to use the shrine immediately, you will actually have enough time to both shrine and ring the dinner bell and still get count for the optional of not giving yourself enough time to rest. So here we are. So here's this kind of location just on the, the rock here. And let's get started. So once you ring the bell, it is going to drop the, uh, the doors and let you kind of get in here. The other thing it's going to do is it's actually going to spawn in some traps. So just keep an eye. So the traps are going to spawn in this camp as well as in the camp there as well. But first, we're just going to take on these guys. Now, I do recommend... Focusing on the named enemy first. Just get rid of him. He's the hardest one. And it's just annoying. Plus it gives you experience for defeating him. So at this point. As you notice we are starting to get our traps spawning in. So if you do have a trapper you might want to you know, use visibility. Whatever you need to go around, grab these traps. So they're going to be located in the camp and basically right around the outside edge. Now another thing to point out, while you are going, you will have the attention of the caster up there. Cannot be killed. And the dragon up there as well. So just watch yourself.
All right, so go ahead and ring the bell there, Zeba. So as you see, we got extra XP for not waiting. At this point, they're gonna come in from the northern section. It's gonna drop down that bridge and kind of send them in after you. So just like before, it will have a named enemy. And on top of that, inside here, we are also going to have a bunch of spell wards. And we are going to have to be careful here. As right where my turret is, that is where they're going to be spawning in the new waves. So if we're not quick enough getting these traps, you might end up being right in the midst of it. Now, another thing you'll notice is we do have a lot of collectibles around the outside edge and even some breakables here. So it doesn't take much to actually get the breakable bonus. As you see, all right, so we got a couple more traps here. So the second section again comes in where my turret was in that path. The third one is going to be giants that come from this cave here. Alright here. So as you see, 15 traps. You got that full neutralization bonus. Now all that's left is to simply take out the enemies. Dragon attacking us. Now, you can actually target and attack. Um, however, really doesn't look as you see, he just kind of, ha ha ha, you can't hurt me, type thing, and it's a good way to get his aggro, especially if you're trying to keep him off your tank, as they often like to target guys who are standing still, or in my case, the guy who shot him. There we go. Ring in the bell. As you see, again, a little extra XP for not waiting. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to stand right here, which is where the uh, shrine is going to spawn in. And I'll show you just what I meant by uh, you actually do have enough time to shrine, ring the bell, and still go. But again, you do want to be right here, which as you see is kind of like a half moon little shape. You have one here. Again, we got that kind of rock face there as well.
this should be just about the last wave here. Our little Albus is just, uh, so here we go. So resting. So again, you do still got to watch out for the attacks. Oh, except he rang the bell, so we won't actually be able to finish our rest. As the bell is no longer there. So yeah, once you're done there, uh, all that you gotta do is kill Dretton. Once he drops, that will be quest completion. And then from there, you just want to finish killing off the rest of the trash. And there we go. So once you're done, if you had pulled the bell on every round, you actually get a second loot chest here, which as you can see, can contain named items. And that's not too bad. We even got a mythic two on that one. So yes, you'll notice we are still getting these. It's for us, it's still day five for our event. And from here, all that's left is to finish out and to uh, either head to the next quest or to turn back in. So thank you so much for watching. It's been a blast and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one all.